coming through with a fresh face for sure good morning y'all how are y'all feeling i am currently on my way to drop denim off she has a doctor's no. why do i always do that <laughs> I always will say denim has, like, I don't know if it's like my mind be moving more for my mouth, but it'd be like, that's not what's happening. Denim is going to a grooming appointment this morning. Um, she don't really need it, but I just feel like I like to keep it up. And then on top of that, like, I want to keep it up and I want to make sure my girl is right. Hold on, the gas just stopped. So yeah okay so basically we're here now but denim do not like she, she do not like loki being in the car she don't because she know where we at now mm -hmm. it's okay it's okay it's okay <laughs> um I got a headache out this world. I didn't even really do much yesterday. I just was trying to fly that drone and stuff. That's in my previous vlog. But, girl, my head has been he headaching. I don't know what's going on with it. Like, mm. Okay, so they just dropped the information for the BT Hip Hop Awards in Atlanta. Y'all know I went to the BT Soul Train Awards and I also went to the BT Awards. Um, so, I'm debating on if I'm going to do the BT Hip Hop Awards because it's so close to me leaving for my trip. <laughs> like, literally. So, I don't know how I, I, I want to play it. Hey, y'all. So, I dropped them off. And now, I'm back home. No, me trying to get to work. But, some stuff inside of my office. Whew. I have a headache. Like, when I say a headache, it's so bad. I don't know why. I think I have not been getting enough sleep, if I'm going to be completely honest. How y'all take y'all BT? Some people put it on a tongue. Some people put it under their tongue. <clears throat> I just wish that water wasn't that damn cold. Let's see. It should help. Honestly, because. I get all my stuff up there. Okay, so basically, this is what it's looking like right now. I could put it up there. I'm not, I don't hate it up there, honestly. I kind of like it. But these shoes and this vanity, it's all gonna be gone. Because I wanna put like a chair right there. So it's like this for right now, but it's not supposed to stay like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I need to clean up in here a little bit. I don't think y'all understand. My my joy is like being so contained right now because I'm really just like, okay, we can re we ready to get back in motion. Like everything I've been wanting to do to start back doing, I'm about to just do it. So, yeah, and it's so crazy. I be having these spurts of energy, like, okay, it's time to get this going. It's time to do this. It's time to do that. 
and I don't even know where it comes from. It literally just comes out of nowhere sometimes. That's why I be like super motivated and ready to do something. Then I be like, all right, let's do it. Let's stop playing the game and let's just get into it. So this is what I'm going to be doing or trying to focus a little bit on. All these two pictures. These two pictures up. I told y'all I was. I felt like I wanted to do some type of backdrop, but I mean wallpaper. But I have no clue even what type of wallpaper to do. Not unless I did something that was more so like a. Oh no! I'm just at a loss. Y'all tell me what y'all think though. Please comment below. I'm willing to take all suggestions. Cause I love how it's pink, but I also feel like it need to be something else. Oh no. Let me, where's my phone? Hmm. Ah! What? They all just fell. What is going on today? Okay, boo. We in a car. Period. So, I'm on my way now. I figured, you know, sometimes you just get that urge that you need to do what you need to do. And I think today was that day for me. I just got that urge of like, girl, you need to go ahead and get up. Okay? So, y'all know I got my little blue light glasses on. I love wearing these, though. And I got them from Shein. I got them from Shein. But... Right now, I'm on my way to do some wallpaper shopping. I just cannot figure out what kind of wallpaper I should do for that office on that back wall. And then some people's like, well, leave it blank because the picture is so vibrant. And I'm like, eh, I looked at it blank and low key, it wasn't, it wasn't giving me, it wasn't eating. Like it gave me low key kind of like a, I'm being lazy vibe. Maybe because I didn't have nothing on the shelves either, but I was just like, um, I'm gonna just throw them up there. I feel like it would just look so much more like popped if it had like wallpaper. So this is the picture. Well, I brought the actual pictures and then I brought this too. Dang, you didn't wanna come off, did you? So this thing, basically so I know exactly what it looks like. So when I'm going in there looking for wallpaper, I don't know who this little man is. I caught him on the phone. And he was kind of getting a little cute. So hopefully we make sure he ain't getting too cute when we inside of there. Because I had said to him, I was like, do you have like a peach color? He's like, I don't have anything solid because, you know, that's if you want something solid, I will have to order it. Or anything that you can paint, I'm not going to have that. I'm like, but it was the way he said it. Maybe it wasn't what he said, it was how he said it. I was like, okay, okay. Like, you know, so I figured why not go and just figure that out. Um, because I do want to film all day tomorrow. I definitely want to get like a Tron haul in. I want to also make sure that I do like a, um, a episode for my movies. I'm so excited about that. Or like, you know, just some stuff, some content. I don't want to do at least two to three videos tomorrow. And I also want to take some pictures. Um, I don't know if I'm going to take the pictures though. But I definitely want to try my best to get me some content okay so that's what my is on my agenda for tomorrow i don't know who sent me this lip gloss somebody sent me this lip gloss let me show y'all a while back like probably months ago maybe even longer and it got little flex in it and your brand is on the lip gloss but i guess the oils from my fingers made it leave because the sticker's still there it's just no brand this is the best smelling lip gloss I've ever, like, had. <laughs> it's the best smelling lip gloss I ever had. And it's, like, just the nice, cute, thicky, thicky, but a little consi good consistency. But I just don't know whose brand it is because I would have went right back on there and bought some more. And it's like I use it, but I try not to use it, use it because I don't know who it is. So if you, if you send me this lip gloss in my P.O. box, I think you sent it when I was in L.A., if I'm not mistaken. 
if you did write me because i want some more and i just i can just send me the site i'll get my own <laughs> but um yeah that's kind of what's going on right now so that's why those pictures is back there because your girl is trying to get her set up together and do what i want to do i just want to like i just want to talk i just want to run my lip i want to just i just want to get into some things you know <sighs> i'm so excited but i tried to upload a youtube video today i thought it was gonna upload for me girl they done flagged it yellow the one i'm the one before this as y'all seeing this it's one before this so they don't flag my daggone video hopefully well they flagged the first one hopefully they don't flag the second one though let's see if they don't i'm posting it no they flagged that one too they flagged it i don't know what's up with that video but honey something in it must got it triggered so i have to re-upload it because if you're a youtuber and you ever upload a video on the you know how you get it and then it'll be like a yellow check or a green check if it's green you good if it upload on yellow it's something in that video that you can take out delete whether it's somebody cussing whether it's a little something showing maybe it's a music lyrics i don't know what it could possibly be but you definitely should go back and re-edit the video if you can because one thing about me i ain't uploading nothing unless it's, it's green like no so that's what i'm going on and back on so hopefully i find me some wallpaper and i brought my little paper with my measurements so we're gonna see we shall gonna see what is you going over for why is it backed up okay see y'all later it's backed up why for me. okay i just got here and it's giving like little mom and pop shop no wonder he was saying he probably ain't got no big selection. He probably wasn't even being smart. He was just being honest. We about to see. I ain't taking all this stuff in with me. I'm going to take my little. All right, I'm going to take y'all. Girl, I found a wallpaper store. And then they got cheap wallpaper for only like $5. But then the nice quality stuff is like up there. But. I'm trying to figure that out. What are you filming? Huh? You, are you filming for some show or something? No, for me. Oh. <laughs> no, it's for me. Oh, okay. Honey, let me tell you something. I went in there, I found like one thing I kind of like, to be honest. And it was blue. But I was like, do I want that room to be predominantly blue? I feel like that room should be predominantly like a peachy pink. Girl, I'm in there vlogging. And this lady gonna say, I don't even know if I caught it on camera. If I did, I'm leaving it in. She's like, what you recording for? Ma'am, I'm not even on you or looking at you or towards you. I said, for myself. I think I really got it on recording though. Because it was like, what are you, what are you asking me for? Like, mind your beeswax. <laughs> That's what I felt like saying. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? What am I recording for? I'm recording for educational purposes only. Like, what else you want me to say? Like, huh? I don't know. But that place, it was cool. It told me that if I wanted to get stuff for wallpaper. It'll be running me like $432, which is typically the same price as everything else been, to be honest. Debate on now, what do I want to do? Do I want to go home or do I want to try to find this wallpaper? I think I want to try to find this wallpaper online, though. But my problem is I don't want to get it and then I don't like it because that's what's going to, that's what's going to send me over. So... I don't know. And I feel like Target be having the same wallpaper everywhere you go. Yeah. 
Girl, I have no clue what I just did, but <laughs> I try to do something. But we'll see what it look like on camera tomorrow because that's when I'm really going to get to it. But as of right now, this is what it is. I mean, my little roses look a little something. But who knows? I might just shoot this way or I could just shoot this way. I don't know, but I'm about to test my podcast mics to see if I can get them back up and running. And then we are done. Hey, y'all. <laughs> hey, y'all. I do not know what the lighting is looking like at all. But I'm trying to set up my camera in here. So it's like my camera up in here. So I can do my first little episode of the potty. Well, I guess this is my movie review, too. Just everything involved. I don't know if y'all can see it, but let me move it here. This jewelry right here, it came from Brazil. This necklace came from 416. This came from Brazil. And then I had some ear cups, so. Okay, y'all, so hey. I basically went ahead and, you know I've been doing my podcast since I was in LA, but I went ahead and really tried to do my um set up again today but girl i was having so many issues like i wanted to vlog with y'all earlier but i really couldn't because first off i was trying to get a camera work the camera wasn't really working now i was trying to get mic work the mic wasn't really working i'm like okay so something gotta give in here because everything is just not working but i think that it went really good i just need to do my ending part of it and then i'm done um yeah i just need to do my ending part of it to be honest and then we'll be pretty much finished but, girl, I was like, what in the world? Why this thing not really trying to work like it normally work? But, whatever. I, whatever. I done finished it. Well, not finished, but almost finished it. So, I'm also going to be doing my movie recaps. And then, I need to do that. And then, I probably want to talk about, like, one more topic. Mm, one more topic. And then, we'll just go from there. Where is the explore page? Okay, tell me what's trending. Ha! Yeah, I be having a lot going on. So what I'm going to really honestly do is while my mic, is, that camera be overheating. So while that's overheating and doing that, I'll just chill out for a minute. But I do need to get ready because I went through and did all my research about this freaking... Uh, we're gonna see how that go because that's a lot it was so many pages but i seen this girl her name is kd i believe and the way she does it is if it's a whole season she'll split up half the season and then split the other half and that's low-key what i feel like i'm gonna do because there's no way i'm gonna be able to go in here and talk about four different seasons like it's just too much stuff it's too much it's too freaking much so, that's kind of what my day is. It do not feel like it's Friday at all. It just don't. I'm going to try to clean up my beauty room a little bit and let everything cool out, chill out, vibe out, and then we'll be back. But this is so cute, right? I got this yesterday for $30 from Home Goods, and it really comes with, like, the little books and stuff. So, you figure we're going to – let's look at this book. Here's the front of the book. So, I'm like, maybe these little books ain't going to have nothing in them. They actually do have books. Like, they're talking about the history behind the brand. So, y'all know I'm really into fashion. Of course, I'm going to sit here and read it. But I definitely thought they were, like, great coffee table books, right? And then the little lizard, he just tops it all off. Because it's, like, something you wouldn't necessarily expect me to have. But I love it. So, yeah. Voila. So I just sometimes be sitting here relaxing because y'all know I have like a uh, floor to ceiling window over here. Well, it's kind of floor to ceiling, not really though, but it's pretty big and it's like super pretty in the time. Um, but right now, I just finished filming. I've been filming all day. I started filming at like 12, but I got, girl, the camera filming would be crazy. Sometimes 
my mic be messing up or I, not even messing up. I just really need to keep practicing to learn how to use it. And then also sometimes my camera lighting, I'm not happy with it. If I'm not happy with it, I will not film. I won't film if I'm not happy with the way that my lighting look. Like that's one thing that got to get me in that mood is my lighting. Like if it do not look good, I will not film. I promise you I won't. Like I'll be like, uh-uh. Or that's what is a big difference of what makes me feel good or not. But yeah, so right now I'm heating my food up. Dinner. Y'all know that's our favorite place to eat. It's upstairs. Dinner. Sometimes she be still hesitant, but she okay. Come on, boo boo. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hi. Hi. Hi, sugar. Hi. Hi, pumpkin. Was you eating your feet today? I'm so greased up. I'm so greased up. Oh my God. Look, I parked over there. And my friend, she parked over there. Now we both got G wagons, period. So, I didn't even tell y'all what I was doing today. So, basically, I met this girl on Instagram and she seemed so cool. So, she invited me. She invited me to Pilates today. And I'm like, you know what? This is what I'm talking about. Okay. So, I'm on my way to the Pilates. I left my water in the car. <sighs> okay. I don't even know what left I parked at. Okay, this is seven. Who am I? Talk about I'm going to Pilates. So I'm on my way to Pilates. That's why I'm trying to hurry up. I do not know where this place is. This is my first time here. She invited me. So I said, you know what? Why not go? And that's what I'm doing. <sighs> I'm excited though. So I'm gonna show y'all when I get there. She got a pop, imaginary smoke. Set it up and put it on the floor. I don't know what y'all been told. Bitch, I'm mad though. If you don't, what's happening? Pilates day. Hi, free, free. Hey. Tell me, I'm gonna have to put your Instagram so they can come over there and see what you got going on. Yes, not much. Yes, you picked a good spot. Tell myself perhaps a salad. Oh, perhaps not perhaps not. Here's <laughs> my food. Yum, yum, yum. Food good. Girl, it's, it's so good. We gotta come back again. This is fire. I'm not What's it called? Gypsy Kitchen. Gypsy Eat Kitchen. Potatoes. That's it. Yes. Gypsy Kitchen. Hey, Rick at that. y'all so basically i am now back in the car honey no edges i'm glad i took them off though i look let me, let me tell you i need to remind myself to go buy some glue today because if my edges is still i need to remind myself to go buy some glue today and if my if i keep breaking out my forehead then i know for a fact it's the glue if not then they must have been the old glue or something like that but let me tell you brie that was my first time meeting her and she was so sweet she took me out to a couple restaurants she took me out to this place i had never played in called rh it's like a furniture store and then of course we did the pilates and that was really really nice i ain't gonna lie i did not ever think i would like pilates but i can see how a person doing pilates you're gonna get in shape quick because that pilates was like not playing no types of games like it was making my leg shake honey like shaking up i was like oh lord i could feel how tense i was getting but you don't sweat at all it's just like a it's just like i don't know subtle slight 
impactful movements now do i prefer to do that instead of working out i think sometimes that adrenaline of pumping and sweating and getting your um you know your heart rate up i do enjoy that part of working out but i definitely could see me doing something like pilates if i had my wig on and i didn't want my wig to be slipping off you know what i mean because <laughs> you don't really sweat with pilates it's just like it is what it is and whatever happens you know so we gonna see hold on it but yeah so i definitely highly recommend if you want a workout but don't want to sweat um yeah go there now far as the food the food was super good i ended up getting like some strength and then i also got like a lamb burger and that was and the food wasn't even too expensive it actually was pretty affordable so i like the food and then um and that place was called something oh i don't y'all know i don't remember and stuff but right now I'm on my way to Home Goods because y'all seen last night I set up everything to do like my podcast and my movie reviews and stuff. So I'm going to do that stuff. Um, but I want to dress that shelf up just a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to do. What in the world is this thing doing? Yeah, I want to dress up my shelf a little bit more. So I'm on my way to Home Goods to see if I can find anything. Hopefully I can find something and then if i do then we'll probably be filming either tonight or tomorrow and then me and brie just did a freaking tiktok and it turned out so cute just a cute little tiktok we did it but i ain't gonna lie like when i be wanting to do my stuff i be wanting to be beat down like faces aid so i don't know i will probably do, i'll do another one but it'll be when she come back in town because i need the face to be given i need the heels to be on i need to be given very much so miss squirrel you know what i'm saying so yes i can't even believe this happened to me oh my god uh, girl why in the world let me tell y'all so i forgot to come back on the camera why in the world i was driving and i hit a rock and it busted my tire and don't say nothing about my room because this is my little beat around car so i just be beating around in this car girl when i tell you it busted my whole tire then literally i called my mom just to inform her about what's going on and i was like girl i'm gonna have to get it to a tire shop she gonna tell me that i don't need to drive it or i'm gonna mess the rim up i said well the tire shop is about four minutes away so either i'm gonna sit on the side of the road and wait a couple hours for a tow truck or i'm just gonna or call i guess triple a or i can drive this four minutes right up the street and y'all know what i did i rode four minutes up the street with my blinkers on and the whole time my mom was like i can't believe you i can't believe i said believe it girl because i'm going to drive to this tire place and what i do drive there and they fixed that well they fixed it in like 45 minutes but by that time i had already called my best friend so he had came up there and, and stuff but girl please i drove right up there on that rim and it was perfectly fine defying on what is it defying all the odds period okay plug this in okay y'all so i don't really know if you would consider this a haul <laughs> Cause I did just do some running around and I just got back to the house. Um, so you can kind of call it whatever you want at this point, but it is just some items that I ended up getting from the store. I'm going to start with this ain't nothing. Oh no. This is stuff I need to bring up there. Okay. Let's start here. So I ended up going in TJ Maxx and they had some um, like notebooks that you can just pretty much write and, you know, script stuff in. So I ended up getting this. I thought the notebook was super pretty. Now that I'm looking at it, it actually matches my room. So this is the notebook I ended up getting. Um, and it's just a regular notebook that comes like this. It has some loose pages in it. And yeah. I ended up getting this. And then I also seen this one. It was pretty funky. Love the colors of it. The color pattern. Oh, it says from Fringe Studios in Culver City. But then, yeah, you got this. Kind of notebook vibe. I thought this one was pretty. It's from August 20, 
23 to December 2004. Honey, people are starting to sell their notebooks already. Period. So I got that. I also got this as well. It's some sticky notebooks. I mean, sticky note set. I don't even know how it works. I just got it. I knew it was $7. I'm like, it's kind of pricey, but whatever. So, oh. Oh, wow. Okay, let me show y'all this. So, it's it's like a sticky notebook. Can y'all see it? So, you put this on it. You take that off. So, you got these sticky notes. And they come like this. So, basically, you rip one off. Then you got these ones. Have fun, be nice, work hard. Then I believe you got these ones that are like flowers. These ones cherry and these ones rainbow. So that actually was a really good buy. Okay, got that done. And then I went to this new hair store. Best believe she won't be getting my business no more. So I paid $36.99 for this BW2 powder because this is the bleach I'll be using for my hair. Um, I mean, I'm here for my lace when I'm trying to bleach my eyes. And then also, we have this. Now, this is the 30, develop, 30 develop, developer that I use to activate the bleach clearly. I usually use Do Grow Oil, but I got the Stimulated Hair Grow Oil. I really hope it does not make my hair itch. Because it says Stimulating Hair Grow Oil. I don't know. And then, oops. And then remember, I told y'all I was going to go ahead and buy another bowl hole to just see if I'm allergic to the bowl hole product. So, or if the glue I had was like, oh, I don't know. So I bought this and it was $40. I thought bowl hole was like $30, but she charged me $40 to the point where I walked back and I'm like, what was $39 on my thing? And she was like, the, the, the bowl hole. And I'm like, $39? And she's like, yes. And I said, all right. But it made me think like, girl, if I knew that, <laughs> all right. So that's kind of the products I just bought. I'm going to put this hair stuff up though because low key, I'm about to use that right now. And then this company sent me this. It's like a um, Sonic Electric Toothbrush. I want to try that out and see how I like it as well. So... That's what today's vibes giving. I think I'm gonna put that new mattress on my bed today, possibly. And I'm trying to do my podcast. I'm so excited to do my episode. So I posted a vlog today, and y'all gave me so much good insight on um, pretty much what type of movie reviews I should do. So I'm gonna start doing those as well. But yes, <laughs> I'm so excited. So excited and then I have a meeting tonight with my printer guy that is printing my books my books will be available on ebooks as well as they will be available as ebooks as well as physical copy notebooks oh my god I'm so excited I'm doing my thing I love this so I'm so excited so he's supposed to be hitting me around eight or nine o'clock tonight and when he does First person I'm gonna call this y'all because I want you to see it. Honey, I'm drinking this water like it's coffee. But yeah, I'm just super excited about that. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I do need to go downstairs get my tripod to see what it looks like being in here for my camera setup. And then I thought I was gonna do my she and try on here, but I'm not gonna do it here. I think I'm gonna do it when I'm out of the country. All them days I'm out of the country. I might as well make some content and I need to actually get another um, heart, what well, SD card and all those kinds of things. So I'm going to look into doing that as well. But yeah, life's great. But I mean, let me show y'all my little mic. I'm going to get my little, like these are mics I had from before, but they just some good mics. They are the um, Sure mics. That's what everybody uses for their podcast, the Sure mics. And they be one thing about it. One thing about it, we go to I don't know, my little 
little try to act like you don't want to stay up. Oh. Oh no. Maybe I need to get a little tape one. Cause I know they got table ones where if you want to put it right here on the table, you can. But I got these big ones. And honey, look at my mic. I'm gonna be just like this. So yeah, you guys, we are all here and we know what cat is for. Girl, I'm all ready for that. I need to edit my YouTube video too. I'm so excited about tomorrow. I'm excited to film. Like I normally be getting happy about filming stuff, but like, no, I be like, I be content with filming stuff. I be happy about it, but I just be like, you know, content. But for me to really be up here talking about some topics, baby, it's about to give. I can't wait. So, um, yeah, I need to, I need to do that. I'm going to be doing that as well and taking notes. Wow, it's really happening tomorrow. But I do need to go relax because I've been out all freaking day. So, okay, y'all. So I wanted to talk about. <laughs> I wasn't. So I was telling him we might save this for my because y'all know I'm trying to pop back out with my my live chat and all that stuff. So we was talking about ugly cute. We talking about people with ugly cute, and we was going through and saying like when I date people, I think I used to go for just like. Cute, 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 cute. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm not gonna say that people be ugly, but I feel like it'd be like an ugly cute that I like. But somebody else would be like, oh, they ugly. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, for example, like we was looking at um, this show, and we was looking at this show, and um, the guy, no, who was it? So basically, Amon Shumpert, y'all know that's Tiana Taylor's husband. So basically, we were saying he's like ugly cute. Like right. you look him in the cute. face, he's cute because of his physique, maybe his demeanor, his height. Like it's other things about him, but just as a total package, I wouldn't be like, oh my god, he's so freaking fine. I'm gonna say he's fine because of it as a package. But just taking his face right here, I'm like, eh, is he really cute in the face? It's like I'm looking at everything else that's making him cute. So yeah. Tara was basically saying. I be liking people that's ugly cute. It's like the face, it don't be all the way there, but then it's like everything else. Everything else makes them attractive. Whether it's like the way they dress, their height, uh, the clothes. Like it's just different things about their demeanor. Like a big thing with me now is like if somebody like talk. I like accents. I like the way you talk. Right. So yeah. like with me. I like deep voice. And I like how masculine you are. Right. So that could be like, ooh, like that's making me feel like you cute, but Terrell be like ugly cute. <laughs> yeah, I think it's an ugly cute because just like you just said about um, Tiana Taylor, her husband. Well, is they divorced? Well, I think they are in the midst of getting divorced. But he, Chai is going through. But it's just like. Other people name. Yeah, he's other people name. It's just like, do y'all be dating people that's like ugly cute? I feel like I like you can. Yeah, I've seen somebody. that old saying where people be like, I don't want, I don't want no pretty nigga. Like I don't want no pretty boy. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like some people want, I like because somebody, they don't want no pretty boy because they don't want, they don't want to feel like they're gonna get cheated on or something like that. But, but that I don't, don't mean. No. But that yeah, that don't mean nothing really. I feel like an ugly cute is just like you could be cute in the, you could have cute eyes. You might have a cute nose. You might even have a cute um, smile or something. But something is ugly on your face. Like, or, something. Maybe we shouldn't ugly. say ugly, but something, <laughs> about your, something about your face is off. Right. Yeah. Like, about your face is off. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm all that, but um, <laughs> in certain features I have that are cute. So, but I know people like that. I know people that it's like, I look at them and I'm like, mm, I would never talk to you. Right. And then it's like, as soon as I get to know them, I'm like, wow. oh, I like you. Yeah. Because but, it's not, it's not. But to the, be honest, though, I like somebody that isn't pretty looking. I like somebody. Now, I think back in the day, I used to go for like pretty girls that were studs and stuff like that. But I think now I like somebody that looks so super, like kind of a little hard. But in the face. maybe not hard <laughs> in the face. But I feel like they look like rough, but it's like packaged really nice looking. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it's like you look rough, 
or, or like like I don't know how to explain. It. Like you look right, yeah, but I it's like it. you dress super cute. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? I do get what you're saying because we, we had this conversation. Yeah, I we feel had like this conversation off camera. Well, we did, but I feel like I was asking. I was like, "Is that my new type?" I don't know because it's just it's just, like that girl, right? That not no the girl, the girl that was like you talking about the other one at the party. Yeah, like her. Okay, that girl there. I, and you asked, and you had asked. I asked me, you, did you, did you think she was cute? And what did you say? I I said yeah, but I kept why I, it was her demeanor because nothing else on that girl was cute. Wait, you had three of them. The one that. You did send me her as well. That's why I was so confused. It was like yeah. three of them. Yeah, it's three of them. Before, it was four of them. But now it's, it's one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but. Oh, wow. I'm so serious. I, look. I, oh. So basically I was saying, well, her, it was her demeanor, the way she carried it. But look. Uh, let me, hold on. Let me. I just showed him somebody to see if he made it ugly. He really cute. <laughs> And I don't know why I take this offensive, but it's just true to me. The one that looks... I think you think everybody I talk to is ugly cute. No, that's a real ugly cute now. <laughs> that's that's a real... not, this I... is cute. Now, this is cute. Like, you get what Let I mean? Let me see her. And I've never seen that before. You get what I mean? Like, certain things can be cute, cute. Like... That's not. Right, that's not. It's the picture. The dressing is cute. Yes, I feel like she dressed cute. It could be the hair. Also, like, sometimes a hair might make you not look that, you know, that well. Sometimes. Well, she got hair. I'm talking about, like, the design of the hair, like, the hairstyle or something like that. I like, feel like that she ugly cute, and I think her demeanor made her attractive. I think the way she carried it made her Oh, my attractive. God, I did not know you were talking about this person. <laughs> you don't remember her? I remember her. That was the girl that was sit, that that was by that one, uh -huh. and you told me that. Uh -huh. Was, uh -huh. I remember. I remember uh -huh. that. Yeah, I told you. My mind be going in and out. Yeah, I the that. point taken is Tara be thinking I talk to people that's ugly cute. These cute on me, ain't they? Or am I ugly cute? Ah, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> You know this ugly cute that's feminine. That's the thing. Oh, ugly cute only works for masculine females. Oh, you can't be a a feminine female be ugly cute. Who's ugly cute to me? Masculine's ugly. But look at my glasses. You like these? I do. I do. Yeah. They I match. like the pink ones though. These ones. Mm -hmm. Who's an ugly cute to me that? Look. They like like crumbs. They look good though. These ones cute too. Don't sleep on the purples. Let me see. Mm. I like these. Yeah, I like these. They give in. Watch your neck. Um, ugly cute to me. Watch your man. A, what's a female that we both know that's ugly cute? We don't. Either they not cute, either they cute or they not. To me, personally. Who I think. You gotta block this out. Who? Whisper, uh, whisper. I'm gonna block that out. Oh, yeah, she is. <laughs> it's like her personality make her mm. cute. But when she be just sitting there, it's like, girl, you like a bird. <laughs> she do. Yeah, I'm so serious. And you know what's so crazy? I seen her the other day, and I was like, I wonder how she be like pulling all these people. She gotta have sex with them. She gotta be having sex with them. They, she, she be can't. pulling some cute people, though. Honey, after you got that money and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that was our TED Talk. Stay you tuned. Need, yeah, you need to um, do that as a podcast. For ah! sure, so, I put my new edges on this morning, but I kind of messed them up a little bit, girl, because why I was using my thing to, like, my little plastic stick to make sure it was laying flat. Girl, why I had a little bit of, like, paper towel or something on it, so it got on this part. So I've been trying to like comb it out if I can and get it out without having to take the whole edge off. But in reality, if I have to take the whole edge off, I'm going to do it. I'm about to change over my bed mattress right now. And then I'm also about to 
Oh, I was supposed to be, today I'm doing my research. So I'm going to do my movie reviews. I told y'all this. So by the time this vlog come up, the same week, I'm trying to drop my movie review. I don't care. Like I'm trying to drop it off. So I can't wait till y'all can see that because I'm super excited. And I'm going to be doing like a little bit of talking, talking about information and stuff. So I just, I just be having stuff going on. I'm super excited though. So I'm about to change this bed over. And then once I'm done doing that, Y'all gonna see me. But it's cute, but I'm gonna mess them up. Especially this one. Sheesh. So let me fix this. Mm -hmm. Now what you in a rush for? What you trying to meet your baby darling? Oh, you running out of time, huh? And make it even because I got this rug from Ruggable and it's the Velcro rug, so you can like take it apart and wash it. But the problem with the rug be if it ain't straight, it'll be bunched, and for months, I left it bunched. And I was like, you know, I'm not doing it no more. We need to do something different. So that's how I'm doing this. But it is good because, like I said, you can take this match. It's like a rug copper all. <laughs> put this frame back on and I really hope this MF for don't do it. Hey y'all, so I got these glasses from Shein and I love them. I think I already told y'all about them though. So let me tell you what's going on. I last night went to bed at 10.30 p.m. I went to bed at 10.30 and then I literally woke up around 2 because Denim was waking me up because she had to go to the bathroom. So we had to get up at 2 in the morning, take her out to the bathroom. I'm like, girl, you should have handled your business earlier because what was you doing? You know what I mean? And then after that, I just went to bed again. Well, I was up for maybe like an hour or something. And I went right back to bed. So I woke up this morning and now I'm on my way to the airport because I have to go drop Denim off. Y'all know I do not play about her just being with a dog sitter, being with a friend, or I don't play none of that. I don't really trust nobody with my baby. I hate to say it. I had too many bad experiences in LA. LA, I would let people like watch her. And y'all know when I used to snap out, when that one girl I was cool with, she watched her, never even took her out to the bathroom. Like, I think Denim was in the cage for like two day, like a day and a half. Because that cage was pooped up, peed up, all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, girl, there's no way you took my daughter out to the bathroom. Like, it's just no way. And I was only gone for three days. And Denim normally will hold her potty. Like, she's good at doing it. All right. Because that girl ain't seen her since. And she sh should be glad I haven't. So... Anyway, I don't trust nobody with denim. I always, when I go to any trip, I'm going to fly her to my mother's house so that they can watch her. The flight is only like an hour and a half, two hours. Then I fly back to get up every time. That's what I feel the most comfortable with because I don't want to fall out with nobody over denim and I don't want to place that responsibility on nobody with her. So, no, at all. So, that's why right now I'm on my way to the airport because you guys know I leave 
um, I leave soon, very soon. So I'm taking her to the airport, and then also I'm going to go down there to go to the warehouse um, because y'all know today is the day I'm picking my books up. So I'm so excited about that too. So y'all gonna get like the first look at my books and a little sneak preview. I can, should I show them? I guess I can show them. Yeah, I can show the books. So I'm super excited. Um, this is my first time like, you know, printing out books and it's just a really big, a really big experience for me. And these are basically guide workbook journals. So they have like, they're all, it's, it's covering all the bases with these books. So I'm excited about that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what happened, honey. Like your girl is on her way. She is on her way to the airport and. You know what's so funny? When I go to the airport now, y'all know I used to Uber all the time. I don't be Ubering no more. Because I feel like at the end of the day, it'd be so... Uber... Okay, when I used to Uber to the airport one way, it'd be like $40. Then come back, it'd be like another $40, $50. It was okay. Like, I, I wouldn't hold you. Like, if I was staying for a long period of time, I was like, all right, I understand. That's why it was like that. But at the point where... I'm going to be gone for, like, I'm literally flying out this morning because it's 8.40 a.m. right now. My flight is at 10.30, but I kind of think I want to do a TikTok of how I fly with my dog for free. I think I want to kind of do something like that, though. But, um, so I figured, and then I'm coming back this afternoon. Well, yeah, this afternoon, like, evening time. So it only cost me, like, I think $12 or $15. It was either 15 or 19 I don't know what I'm saying. Because I had to think it was taxes with it. But it only cost $19. And honestly, sometimes I do prefer to drive myself. Because I can listen to my own music. I don't have to sit in the back of nobody's seat still and quiet. But yeah, I mean, you really don't have to. But it's just like, ugh. And in some of them people's cars, even if you do XL, it just don't be given sometimes. Like, I just be like, all right. Like, Atlanta just let anybody be on a Lyft driver. And then they... And, as long as your car is within a certain amount of years, they're going to say that it's like one of the newer ones and the car be dirty. So it's like, eh, eh, I don't have time for that. But yeah, I'm on my way. And like, girl, this been my new thing where my little ear cuffs. I had two. I don't know where the other one is. I think it fell off while I was getting dressed. But that's what's pretty much happening right now. So I'm on my way to the airport. So I guess I'll see y'all shortly. I don't know if I'm recording there or not. Because every time I try to... I don't ever really get no content, but I think I am going to try to do how do I fly with my dog for free type vibes. I'm not even going to hold you. Because everybody always asks me that. Girl, let me try to like I do TikToks for real. <laughs> All right. Bye. See you, stinky. Then I'm in the back seat, girl. I can stay. I don't know what's wrong with her, but she better get it together. You act like me just be moody then you have to check yourself because let me tell you this morning i turned this camera on and i looked at my face like just looking at it my face was so tore up i was looking stank i said oh my god I need to fix my face because this is what i look like when i'm just resting and chilling because this looks very scary intimidated because i was looking at myself nothing happened to piss me off this morning nothing it didn't was doing a little wine i was like girl you need to be quiet shoot but Nothing really happened. So why was my face that tore up? I was like, oh no. Uh-huh, I gotta fix that. So yes, yeah, stink. I'ma see y'all. Bye. Once again, this will be a full flight. Every seat will be taken. So we can get everyone on board. Put your carry-on luggage, which is your larger um luggage items. Thank you so much for your patience. Once again, you will be taking the seat that is smaller. Oh, you got rice with yours too. Right here, I came with it. Thank you. Why would God go thank God for me? Amen. Amen. Grandma, where you put that? What's in the bag? Now you got the biggest plate. Okay, so this is my books. My books just got here. So this is the one that Embracing Your Essence book. Ooh. 
this book. So my books just got here. Then we have the digital influence books. So they will be available for sale shortly. They drawn tonight. And you Mama, your name on that. Child, I'm in the car with them. They done came and got me so I could drop them off. And we went to Carolina's Kitchen. Was the food girl good girls? Yeah. Very delicious. The ladies have spoken. Now they took me back to the airport. We all had something different. How about that? I know. Ooh. I mean, if you don't do yours now, you can do them later. My mom just sold us some coupon books. I, can't I need to do mine now. Well, they're not coupon books. They for a drawing. Which you don't want them to know. I don't care about them drawing. I'm doing it for a good cause. <laughs> she, sold, <laughs> she sold me some now. Raina bought her a five dollar one, <laughs> and now she gonna do my brother and his girlfriend. Playing. I ain't playing. That's I'm crazy. You running through all of us selling your books. I bought myself some. Mm -hmm. But yeah, y'all. So I dropped in them off. Now I'm on my way back to the airport. I was only here for a couple of hours. Now I gotta catch my PJ. My private jet. <laughs> the airport and Kate was gonna exit the same one. How about that? I guess you know what? Child, I made it back to Atlanta. And now I gotta find out where the shuttle is so I can get to my hotel. I don't know how I. Let me ask this lady. Actually, I think we're gonna go outside. <laughs> I ain't even been away from her for like fucking. Like two hours and I'm spazzing out but it's okay when I get home tonight I need to pack my bags excuse me where is every time I get in here I get lost so basically I got to find where airport parking shuttles are she said go all the way down to you go to the number one make a left Hey y'all, so I'm back. I think it's blurry. Oh, I've been gone, honey. Girl, I've been gone. What do you keep focusing on? Oh, I've been gone. I said I was gonna go ahead and try to bleach my arms. So my homegirl, sent me this little thing and that's what I had ended purchase in this end up purchasing off Amazon because I want to see if it really worked so I clean my arms now I got to dry them I got this whole thing off Amazon y'all now do I know if this gonna work no but I'm trying it out because I need to know now my homegirl, she's saying it's work. It works so good. Oops. Now, the lady did a micro dermer needle. She said this one, hers was 0.5. I don't know what point this is. It don't hurt, but I can definitely feel it. So I'm taking a microderma needle. Basically, this is just a roller with a needle. Okay. Now, I'm supposed to take some of this, which is the mandelic acid. <laughs> God, I say you gotta be careful. I'm gonna squeeze it out. Now my friend said, don't do it for more than five minutes, but I'm putting it here. I'm gonna put a little cotton ball in here to soak it up. Okay. Now. Y'all see me doing it. I'm supposed to put this on it. Try to make sure I get out. Now, I do feel a little sting. I guess it depends on how good you microderm it. But we're going to see. It's Mandelic 20% peel, professional grade. Hmm. And then, 
after I take it off, then I will use this neutralizer. I'm so confused though. Let me wear my burner ass go. Y'all see a difference? Oh, I guess it is a difference. I don't know. Hey y'all, good morning. It's giving Miss Natural, okay? So I ended up packing my bag yesterday and with my airline, I get two free bags. I really thought I was gonna have to need three because I'm gonna be there dang near for the whole month. Probably, yeah, like dang near in Bali. So I feel like after packing my bag, I had like five pounds that I could still fit in the first one and then I still just gotta pack my second half of stuff. So I'm gonna do that today. Um, I also took my hair out, girl, so that's why she looked like this, because I just took it out. I'm about to get my hair done. So we give it natural girl today, okay? <laughs> Hopefully I don't look too crazy on camera, but it's my natural, my natural mane. My natural mane and tail. And then I have to go grocery shopping. I mean, not grocery shopping. I have to go to the store, because it's a couple things that I wasn't able to get. I take all my stuff downstairs, y'all. So that's where I'm going to meet y'all at. In my humble home. I'm saying it's gonna be a problem. So I just reordered them. They send me the same exact ones. I'm returning them. I show them because I like it to be longer French. Oh, I ordered me some more baby hairs. And I ordered me some press ones, and they were saying it was gonna look one way, and now that I opened them up, they don't look nothing like. They don't look nothing like the Amazon review. I should really freaking beat that ASAP. I might keep them though for eight bucks. It was only eight dollars, but still, they didn't play with me. They're not horrible, but they ain't nothing like what the ad's supposed to be looking like. I was thinking about getting these little press ones for my birthday. Okay. Mm. Let me put the top on. Now look at these. I don't know if y'all can see them. Let me see. Now don't get me wrong, they ain't ugly. But they just don't look like what they say they was going to look like. I'm going to show y'all the little picture where they saying they was going to look like. Like, I mean. <sighs> Girl, Amazon. That's why I said, if it ain't got no reviews, sometimes it'll be hit or miss. I need to wait. If it ain't got no reviews from now on, I need to wait. But let me go on Amazon and return this stuff that I'm going to return. The only thing I'm really returning is these nails. These two sets of nails. And I think that's it. Anything else? Okay. And to be honest, if these nails were like maybe $10, $15, I wouldn't be tripping. These nails cost me like $32. Girl, I just got another package. So I got this one too. I like little sandals that's like ropey. I don't know if they're sandals or they're supposed to be slippers for the house. Cause I got a pair of shoes like this and I wear them outside. But they like sandals. And I get a lot of compliments on them. Where did I even get them shoes from? I kind of look, I think Amazon. They said they're handcrafted by real hands, machine washable. Able to leap small puddles in a small bound. They float, you don't. Remember that. Mm. That makes you too sexy. The convertible sandal. Period. Well, there it is right there. I guess you can do both. But I'm the type of person, like, either I wear it outside or inside. I'm not wearing shoes inside and outside. <sighs> These were $62, though, but I really like them. So I got them. Let me tell y'all, I had some difficulties this morning, okay? First things first, washed my hair. It looks completely insane. <laughs> I kind of like brushed out and stuff. And washed it. So, my hair is fresh. Fresh as heck, clean as heck, right? So... Put that back up in a 
with y'all. So last night, my manager, she hit me up with a deal from this brand. And she was like, um, hey, Tay, are you up? And I said, yeah, I'm up, which I normally am not up, but I just so happened I was up this day. I know we going to be early. So, girl, she hit me up and told me this brand wanted to pay me some good money. And I'm like, all right. And they was asking me what it was that she was asking me. They was asking me. She hit me up talking about this brand wanted to pay me good money. And I was all for it. But the problem was they needed the content before tomorrow. I mean, before the weekend. Y'all know I'm going to Bali. So I was like, oh, well, I'm leaving for Bali. So she tell the people, but they were supposed to be negotiating the contract. I And literally the girl that she was negotiating with, I guess, must have went to sleep or something. So I don't know nothing. <laughs> I really don't know anything. So at this point, I was like, I was going to push my hair point back. Because I'll push my hair point back. Anything over five, six bands. I will, let me tell you something. This content creation stuff would be work, worth it. And I worked with the brand before. So it wasn't like it was some new brand where I really had to try it out see if the product worked. I worked with the brand before. Girl, this content creation be worth it. So I told her, I was like, they're going to pay more than five, six bands. I'll push it back and get my hair done. But the thing about it is, I don't want to lose out on no appointment because I literally fly out like tomorrow. And I've been trying to vlog and stuff, but I just been so busy packing. Let me show y'all. So I went to the store and ended up getting this. It's Native Facial Care Moisturizing Facial Lotion. Now I ain't gonna hold you. I washed my hair with the, they got a shampoo conditioner. I washed my hair with the conditioner last night. Oh my God, it made my scalp start tingling automatically. Like so much. And it was like a little, a lot, it was more, a little more than I was used to. Girl, I thought that somebody had put Nair in it. Like in the, when I washed my hair, I thought somebody put Nair in it. I was like, oh my God. So I was like doing it and I'm pulling my hair, pulling my hair to make sure it ain't coming out. That's how much it was tingling. So then I was like, let me rinse it out, rinse it out. And it was perfectly fine. So I think the tingling part was like a cleanly part of it. I don't know. I'm going to tie it out again just to make sure. But I'm going to try it out again because this was it. Who freaking knew that was coming out with shampoo and conditioner? Girl. I got the shampoo and the conditioner. I didn't get to use the um, shampoo yet, though, because I was using the shampoo I always use. But I was like, let me use the conditioner. Girl, that conditioner had me tingling. Let me know, though. So, I, like I said, I'm going to try it out again and let y'all know. But, honey. And then also, y'all probably, like, why you just didn't do the um, hair promo beforehand? I didn't do it beforehand because I could have did it last night late or early this morning. But she didn't let me know last night because the girl, I guess, fell asleep in. I don't want to lose out. You know, I just don't want to risk my hair point. What would y'all do? Would y'all wait? So I wrote the lady this morning to get my hair point. I asked her, could I push it back a little bit? She didn't respond. So I was like, she didn't respond. I'm still going to go to my hair appointment at the normal time. But who knows? So let me try this. This is a facial lotion. Boy, you never had a little pump like this. See? It don't really smell like coconut it says coconut and vitamin this one's coconut and vanilla oh, okay it's a facial lotion but i'm putting on my arms too i smell the coconut a little bit i don't smell nothing else though it's very hydrating i like how little it is I'll rub it in, in on his arm now. Also, I know a lot of y'all was asking me about the cyst. Girl, it's going down. Like, oh, what is this? Oh, that's my bone. <laughs> that's my bone. The cyst is going down. Like, you barely can see it. See? It's like barely there. Y'all know it was like big. You look at my vlogs before. But I had noticed it started going down. So that's why 
Well, I didn't really notice. I kind of felt like it was going down, but then I was like, I don't know. And then I had went and um, looked at my wrist one day. And I'm like, dang, where'd it go? So, honey, that's where it's at with it. Let me also give y'all an update. Why am I still... I need... I'm allergic to lace glue now, and I'm kind of sad about it. Like, it be making me break out, and all the areas where the glue was, it's literally, like, dry and patchy. And I'm like, I'm wearing braids on this vacation. Like, I need some type of lace glue. I do not like ghost bond lace glue. Unless they changed the formula from years ago, I still don't, I don't rock with her. But, because it don't work, ghost bond for me, so I don't know. <sighs> mm, I'm putting some on my lips, too. So, yeah, it made me, it made me dry and patchy. I'm like, uh-uh. I don't like that. Well, y'all, we're going to my hair appointment. I want to get something to eat. I'm hungry. Just be sitting there hungry, you know? But so far so good. A little lotion at work, but let's see how I feel later on. Like, do it get sticky or you know ashy type? But right now it feels really good. All right, y'all. We heading out to the hair point because one thing about it, I don't like the phone call. I ain't gonna miss on no bag, but I also ain't gonna miss to get my hair done because one thing about it, my trip is like in less than twenty four hours. So you do the math. Anybody about to? Y'all gotta let me know something. Y'all want me to shake something. Okay. Hey, y'all. I am not going to hold you. I have been all over the place. That's why I have not been vlogging for real. Because I just feel like I've been doing so much. But none of that's why I haven't really been vlogging for real. Because I have just been doing so much. So I'm going to make it my business to make sure that I vlog today. So, I'm right now I'm about to get my toes done because they need to be done. Girl, I don't think I had my toes done in probably like a month and a half, two months. Like, this is the longest I probably ever went without having my toes done. Because when I went to my trip in Brazil, I did not do my toes. Like, I haven't had my toes done, done since before Brazil, girl. So, that, I need my feet done. And then I also need to get this package. UPS was supposed to upload, my, deliver my package with my wigs in it. Girl, they did not deliver my package. So at that point, I got to make sure I go get my wig. Um, I got to make sure I get my wig. But, and then I got to bleach my edges. Y'all not be putting my little fake edges on. I got to bleach my edges. I ain't even seen the wig to know if the wig need to be bleached. Like, it's just... <laughs> It's just a lot going on, okay? So, I'm just really, really, really trying to make sure that I'm on top of stuff and what's going to be done is going to be done. Um, girl, I just seen two, three people pop, pull up at the nail salon because one thing I'm not going to do is be waiting. Hold on. Baby, let me tell you, I just got my toes done and she did a, uh, she did her big one. Her, what's her name? Catherine with a K? Oh my gosh. I've never had her. I'm like, I've never seen her in here before. They was like, oh, she's always here. That's my go-to now because I love the way she did my toes. Like, and she made them feel so good. So I just got my toes done. I have to go home real quick so I can go to get my P.O. Box key so I can run to my P.O. Box. Not unless the key is in here. Who knows messing around with me? I just be moving stuff. Moving it for no reason. Because why do I need... I ain't have to move that. Oh, God. Okay. I got to go home, get my P.O. Box key, come back out, and then I got to finish packing the rest. My bag is pretty much packed, but I need to, like, really pack it. So it's 12, so... And I was thinking, am I hungry? But then I was like, maybe I should eat at the airport. But then Loki, I was like, I want to eat before I get to the airport. So I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> hey, y'all. 
Hey y'all. So I just got back and I decided to come here first. And girl, I wanna see how much my bag weighs. So I always use this bag weight I got. Cause I be needing to know. Turned it on. It's in my bag 48 pounds. Man, I packed that bag good as heck. So, pretty much I'm done with everything. I just got to pack my carry on, and after that, we are ready to go. So, let me take my bag downstairs. Okay, so as y'all know, we is on a time crunch. So for the next vlog, I will be in Bali. <laughs> I just want to let y'all know that because I did kind of end that abruptly. I know I am in usually abruptly, but that was super abrupt. But I'm going to be, in, well, I'm in Bali right now, to be honest, editing this vlog, getting it up for y'all. And then also it was some products I wanted to talk about, but I wasn't able to talk about them in the last vlog because um the mic on my camera was messing up i don't know so i have to redo it here in bali but um yeah you guys get ready for the vlogs also if you're not already follow me on instagram at glamazante and i'm gonna be posting all my content on there and you guys also i got a costa rica group trip coming up in april so if you want to sign up for that the link will be in the bio these are my two bali trips that sold out really quick so make sure you go over there and get the costa rica ticket girl but i will see y'all in my next vlog i'm gonna try to drop it on monday or tuesday so see y'all love y'all bye mm -hmm.